My mom's drinking definitely got worse when she started dating Jeff. I think Jeff is definitely an enabler to my mom with her drinking because he drinks every day. She's not gonna sit there and not drink when he's there drinking. You remember that one time that they ended up drinking and driving and they got pulled over and mom told Jeff, let's switch seats so I don't get in trouble for drinking and driving. They're protecting each other and that doesn't help anything. Uh, Tracy's children all agree that five years ago when their mother met her boyfriend Jeff, her drinking escalated. Now Jeff says, he does not believe that he enables Tracy's drinking. In fact, he claims that he has tried to teach her how to control her liquor. Tracy and I have been together for five years. She has really changed my life. Tracy's relationship with her children has gotten worse since we have started dating because before she was never a drinker and now she is drinking. I do not think that Tracy is an alcoholic Tracy drinks pretty much every night, one to three vodkas. And if she's had a bad day, she drinks more. She drinks three to five. But on Sundays, you know, she might get up in the morning and have a Bloody Mary or two. It's the way that she gets when she's drinking that is a problem. She's fighting with her kids. She drinks until she passes out. When she gets to a certain point, I'll say, okay, baby girl, you need to slow down. She gets mad at me and just says no, and just drinks more. Tracy has threatened suicide to her kids. Will Tracy ever do it? No, she'll never do it. Why does she say it? Maybe she just thinks that her kids will give her more attention. I hope Dr. Phil can bring the family back together. Well, I hope so too. And thanks for being here, because you didn't have to do this. Right. Do you really think she's not an alcoholic? Do you really think that she's not drinking at a dysfunctional level? I do not think that she's an alcoholic because I consider an alcoholic that gets up in the morning and needs alcohol at five o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. She drinks only in the afternoons. I have a text message from her saying she didn't drink for a couple days and she got headaches and that it was from withdrawals, from alcohol withdrawals. That is an alcoholic. To me, someone has a problem with alcohol, they have an alcohol addiction. If they are abusing it, they're dependent on it, they show withdrawal if it's taken away from them. If any substance whatsoever interferes with the healthy pursuit of healthy goals, then that's change-worthy behavior, that's a problem. I work with my mom and I've seen her stop at the gas station after work and get a beer. Get one of those big cans. Yeah, but it's not drinks. like she has to get up in the morning and start drinking. I don't understand your logic here. The woman is drinking to the point that she has withdrawal if she doesn't drink. She has cut the end of her finger off. I, I mean... We've done welfare checks on her multiple. In one of her welfare checks last year, she blew a .30 blood alcohol content. That is in urgent medical emergency range. And I'm curious, do you care about her? Yes, I love her. If you love her, why would you not want to protect her from herself? I do protect her to where I have her slow down on drinking. You say that she's drunk almost every night and then passes out. True? True. So you can drink every night to the point that you pass out and that would fall in the normal category for you as opposed to abnormal. Well, not the normal category, but it's, it's, just, it, it's just in the afternoon, you know, when she comes home and drinks. You know, it's not like she, you know, everybody thinks she's an alcoholic. It's not like she gets up in the morning and starts drinking. Okay, let me disabuse you of something here. Alcoholism is not defined by the time of day that you drink. So I need to disabuse you of the fact that you don't need to wake up and start drinking, which, by the way, she does a lot of times, right? She gets up in the morning and no. has Bloody Marys? Well, uh, only, well on, yeah. only on, on Sundays. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. But then she'll wake up and have one or maybe two or three. Yeah. Like on the weekend, like on a Saturday or a Sunday. 